Hi class, this is Ms. Champagne and we're going to discuss perimeter area and circumference and area of figures. We're first starting with question number 26 on page CC61 that says, find the area of figure, a triangle with base 10 feet and height 3 feet. So we're going to draw a, a triangle and I don't know what type of triangle it is, but I'm just going to draw a right triangle just for um, the purpose of this problem. It says that the base is 10 feet and it has a height of 3 feet. I also could have chosen a triangle that looks like this. That has... Okay. And this is called an obtuse triangle because this angle is more than 90 degrees. Um, and as you can see, this line is not straight up. In order to measure someone's height, don't they have to stand nice and tall in order for you to see how tall they are? So in this case, this base would still be 10 feet, but the height now would be from the tip of this triangle down to the floor. So this line would still be the height, which is three feet. So from the base of the triangle all the way down to the floor is still called the height. So it doesn't matter if your triangle is slanted here, you have to make a nice straight line for the height and it would still be the same formula. So the area will still be a half of the base times the height. So one half 10 feet times three feet. So if we multiply 10 times three, we get 30 feet squared, because remember, area always has a little two in the air, and a half times 30. A half of 30 we know is 15, but if we're multiplying fractions, we can just multiply straight across. 1 times 30 is 30. 2 times 1 is 2. So this is still 30. Remember, this is the, the fraction line is an abbreviation of division. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So the area is 15 feet squared. And that's it.